In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the TSOP 4838 IR receiver with the Arduino. The materials that I will be using are an Arduino Uno, a breadboard, male-to-male -male jumper wires, the TSOP 4838 IR receiver, an LED with a 480 ohm current limiting resistor, and any IR remote. We'll start by first downloading the IR remote library. The link to all the files are available in the description below. Once you download the file, go ahead and open it with your favorite zip program. Then drag the folder that says IR receiver onto your desktop. This folder has two subfolders that contain our code and our library files. Go ahead and open up the libraries folder. Then navigate to your Arduino's library folder. It should be under documents, Arduino, and then libraries. Then drag the IR Remote Library to your Libraries folder. The connections for this tutorial is fairly simple. We'll start by placing the IR Receiver and the LED onto the breadboard. The pins of the components will be referred to as follows. The pins of the IR Receiver will be labeled 1 through 3 and the LED will be labeled A for anode and C for cathode. Remember that the anode is the lead that is longer. Start by connecting pin 1 to pin 11 of the Arduino Uno. Pin 2 will be connected to the ground rail of the breadboard and pin 3 will be connected to the power rail. Pin C will be connected to ground using the 470 ohm resistor and pin A will be connected to pin 13 of the Arduino. Finally, we'll connect the 3.3 volt power from the Arduino to the breadboard's power rail and the Arduino's ground to the ground rail. You can then plug in your Arduino to the computer. Open the IR receiver folder that you recently downloaded and open the code folder. There should be two subfolders. Open the decode IR sketch and then open the IR LED 1 sketch as well. The decode IR sketch will decode the inputs of your IR remote and will display the results onto the serial monitor. Before uploading, make sure that your board is set to the Arduino Uno and that you have the correct serial port selected. You can then upload the code. Once it is done uploading, you can open the serial monitor. Aim your remote and click on a single button. In this tutorial, I will be decoding two values from two different buttons. One will be used to turn our LED on and the other will be used to turn it off. Once you have your first button decoded, go ahead and copy that number and paste it into this section of the IR LED 1 sketch. Then do the same thing for the second button. Once you have copied and pasted the two decoded values, you can then upload the code. Again, verify your board and your port. Once uploaded, your circuit should work as follows. Pressing the first button on the remote should turn on the LED, and pressing the second button should turn off your LED. Well that concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to post it in the comment section below.